All right, let's get a usable edge on this thing. If you have this knife and you love it, fantastic. I always say that the best knife is the knife that you have and that you enjoy using. So if this is the knife for you, great. I think that these tips are gonna help you get the most out of it. Reads and plus here, let's get rid of the box. A stone, I have like a nice wet stone here. I have a wet towel. I just set my wet stone on top of my wet towel and I can just rotate this back and forth to keep some moisture on that. I got my sharpening seal and some coffee today, Costa Rican blend. Okay, I'm gonna start with the coarser side of my stone here. And what I wanna do is I wanna pull, I don't wanna push against this stone because when I'm pushing, what I can do is remove material and end up with a well here. So I'm gonna pull and then pull and pull. And you're gonna use your ears as well as the feeling. And you don't need to put that much pressure down. The trick is to maintain the angle consistently. There are some sharpening systems out there that are absolutely 100 precise. They have angle sets and uh, clamps and adjustments and those are great. Um, I've never used one of those. They're, they're expensive. So I just do it the old fashioned way, the way I learned 25 years ago when I was in culinary school. And I can actually feel the birds coming off the stone here. And I can see the stone is starting to pick up a little bit of the material. Now I'm gonna push away, so I'm gonna flip. So now my palm's up and I'm flipping because again, I'm not, if I were to come this way, I'd be pulling against the stone. So I'm gonna push away from me. It's sharpening quickly because the material is relatively soft. Um, so that's both good and bad. These soft material knives are designed to be sharpened with a stone, uh, maybe a strap every single time you use them. I'm just feeling here, it's getting there. I don't run my knives razor sharp. I know some people have a, um, appreciation for razor sharp. I don't need razor sharp. I use good technique uh, to make up for what I think is um, a deficiency and maybe a little sharpness. Okay, I need to get rid of this edge. So on this side, if I'm holding the knife and I'm looking down on the right hand side of the knife, it's rolled, but on the left hand side of the knife, there's a wider edge there and it's really uncomfortable. So I'm going to hold this knife relatively flat and I'm going to try to sand that edge down. Same thing will happen if you've ever sharpened a, a garden tool like an axe or a shovel, a hoe, anything like that. You'll get that wire bead and you need to, you need to remove that. Yeah, look at that. And what's interesting is this appears to be paint because it's coming off. It sure is. I'm gonna do the other side as well, why not? Better, okay. And I'm gonna do the same back here. As I'm feeling this, the back of the knife here, the heel has got the same issue going on. So let me figure out how to do this. So it looks like I'm gonna come in this way. It's tricky to get in there. It's not quite the most user-friendly shape. Mm. Better, yeah. As I'm feeling that, it felt rough, but then I realized that's the, that's the wire coming off. Interesting that this is a painted surface and it fingerprints real easy too, so. Um, it's not very durable. It just scrapes off very easily. Okay, much happier with that. I'm going to just do a little bit here, try to round that out just a touch more. Take my wet towel, kind of refresh my stone. Okay, just by wiping it off with my 
tile, they can get quite a bit of debris off that. Careful. <laughs> I almost put my hand right on the blade. Okay, that's better. That's better. There is a little bit, gosh. So where this is folded over with this um, guide right here, it actually has like, it, it's just like a sharp bit right there. It's really uncomfortable. And I actually have a loose, look at this. I don't know if you can see right there. That is a loose piece of metal that came off. And it's very, very sharp. That, oh man. Well, I'm going to need to get in there with some pliers and maybe I can bend it off. That is, that's dangerous. Yikes. That is not good. Well, I'm going to reach in there. This is gonna go back to their, the homestead with me, urban homestead. I'm gonna reach in there with a pair of pliers and pull that off, because that doesn't seem safe to me whatsoever. Another problem I just realized here is that rat tail tang as it bends around, like if you do hold more of a fist grip, you can feel it as you're working there. So it's not great.